Now, news of President Trump's coronavirus diagnosis coincides with today's EU Leaders Summit in Brussels. And Sylvia joins us now with more on how European leaders are reacting to President Trump's diagnosis. Sylvia. Good morning, Juliana. So there haven't been quite a lot of reactions from the European leaders, even though they are in Brussels, they are in this two-day summit meeting with the, but essentially what we've heard from them this morning is very much focused on the actual discussions that they're having there. Nonetheless, we did hear from the president of the European Council, Charles Michel. He tweeted moments ago that he wishes Donald Trump and the First Lady a speedy recovery. And he did mention that COVID-19, and I quote him here, is a battle that we all continue to fight every day, no matter where we live. We also heard from the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson moments ago, also wishing fast recoveries to the uh, President Trump and the First Lady. And earlier this morning, there were similar comments from the Polish President, as well as the former Prime Minister of Italy, Matteo Renzi, as well as the OECD Chief Angel Gurria. But definitely, even though there are not a lot of comments from European leaders this morning, they are definitely monitoring what's happening in the United States because of the implications that this might have on the upcoming presidential election. Let's not forget that this vote has quite a lot of repercussions for how the EU goes on about its relations with the United States, but also with uh, relations with China and uh, defense spending and so on. And we know that over the last few years, since President Trump uh, arrived at the White House, there have been quite a lot of tensions between both sides of the Atlantic over trade, over NATO. Um, and uh, that's why the EU is really keen to understand what might happen when it comes to this presidential election, but of course, who, who will be the next president of the US so then they can actually study the ways forward when it comes to how they will deal with the upcoming presidency.